Today I went down to a little park along the Colorado River here in Palisade, Colorado. Um, Palisade's known for their peaches. They make great peach wine. Peaches are gigantic. But I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what is a nomad. Um, I'm, I'm a nomad. I live full time in my 6x12 converted cargo trailer. I travel all over the country seeing my family and friends. So, what is a nomad? According to Webster's Dictionary, a nomad is a person or people traveling from place to place without a permanent home. Finding new ground, new adventure, new excitement, even new friends. Some caravan together, some like solitude. They go off on their own ventures. They do their own thing. A lot of us meet up together for events. So why do we do what we do? Maybe we can't afford our mortgage anymore. Our rent's too high, which is just ridiculous. A divorce, relationship ends. Or maybe we're dealing with some stages of grief. I am. I lost my oldest son and his pregnant wife 14 years ago this August. It's something that a mother doesn't ever want to have to deal with, and it's it stays with you forever. Maybe we just seek adventure, or to seek clarity, or find something that's driving us to be out here. Maybe it's a sunrise or sunset, canoeing down a river, or kayaking in a stream or a lake hiking, painting a landscape, or just seeing the oceans and the mountains. Some have their own reasons why we're here, some don't. I don't know why I'm here, but something is driving me to go find something. Are we searching or running away from something? Me, I'm not running from anything. I'm heading towards it. Maybe I'll find it, maybe I won't. But when I do, maybe then I'll settle down. I haven't had a real home that felt like home in 20-something years. So I hope I find it someday, and maybe I don't. Because I'm enjoying what I do. I'm seeing beautiful places in our country, experiencing beautiful sunsets and sunrises and awesome storms. And I'm meeting some wonderful, funny, adventurous people that are like-minded just like me. So I'm proud to be a nomad. I'm proud of what I'm doing. I'm having fun at it and I'm learning from it. And I'm having adventures. I'm not just sitting home in a sticks and bricks watching TV, Netflix, or Hulu. Okay, at night I do. I have to admit that. And yeah, I'm addicted to YouTube videos right now. So if you're thinking about this lifestyle, whether it's a weekend or full time, don't overthink it, just do it. Grab life now, we only live once, so live it. It's not for everyone, it's hard and lonely at times, but it's for everyone who gets it. And hopefully I'll see you out there someday. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. See you, bye. This is the Colorado River right here. I was really surprised when I first came out here. I took a bus out from Maryland to here to pick up my youngest daughter. She spent the summer with her sister. Went over the river and it was this brown, murky water. I was so shocked. I thought the Colorado River was beautifully blue, like the oceans. But, nope, nature had a different plan. But this is a cool park. Um, the mountains right back there, that's the Grand Mesa. It's the largest flat top mountain in the country. It's beautiful up there. Pine trees, forest, BLM land. While I was in this park, I have you know, my two dogs, they're seniors, and Elliot, the rat terrier, is not pet friendly. And twice, two dogs come running up to me by two different people. And I stopped and told them, my dog's not a very friendly fella, so the first couple, they were very, very nice, and he said, thank you for letting him know. The second one, I'm heading over to my truck through the grassy field up here, and these two poodles just come bounding over to me. I have Elliot between a rock and my leg, and I said to the woman, my dog is not the friendly fella. Oh, I'm so... Well, she didn't even apologize. She says, oh, my dogs just love to meet every dog they can. And my poor dog is going nuts around my legs. He's scared. He's got a dog coming from the front, a dog coming from the back. The husband come walking by, and he apologized to me. That was nice. It just irks me. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. Please leash your dogs around other pets, especially when we're camping. Elliot's my protector. He's very territorial of our space and me. People come up to my door or when we're sitting around a campfire or something with their dogs unleashed and just come into my dog's space. Well, he needs to invite you in. He's one of those kind of guys. Here on this road, those trees on the right, those are all peach trees. Forever out in the western slope, you, you must go on a wine tour through Palisade. Uh, there's several wineries here. I wasn't a fan of their peaches at first. I paid $3 for one. It was humongous. It was just, I don't know, too soft. But their peach wines and everything else is delicious. 
And they also grow a lot of grapes here. I'm recovering from meniscus surgery on my knee. So I'll be laid up for a little bit. Next month is my rotator cuff surgery. That one's going to be a tough one. So hopefully I can get a really good video up. I'll have time to sit here and edit and, and do it. See you guys.